Hello friends, welcome back to Green Feather. After posting our video on water quality index, we have received requests for videos on CCME WQI, Irrigation WQI, Air Quality Index, etc. So here we come with yet another video on water quality index, where we will discuss about CCME WQI. The best thing about this WQI is that there is an online application available to calculate the water quality index result from your data. We will divide the entire session on CCMA WQI into two parts. In the first part, we will elaborate the concept behind CCMA WQI calculation. In the second part, we will practically see how to calculate CCMA WQI in the web application. For those who have not watched the basic WQI video, we suggest you to watch it before proceeding to CCMA WQI video to have a conceptual understanding of water quality index. Link is provided in the i button and in the description below. Just for a basic recapitulation, water quality index is a very efficient tool to assess water quality of a water source. It reduces the multivariate and bulk volume of water quality data by employing an index that will mathematically combine all water quality measures and provide a general and summarized description of water quality status. Its advantages are such that it has become indispensable for water quality assessment. WQI is extensively used because it represents complex water quality data in a simple and understandable way, easily communicable to general public and administration. Water quality data usually comes in huge amount. Water quality index is a very efficient tool to compare and assess such bulk amount of data. It is also used for selecting appropriate treatment techniques to address the concerned water quality issues. The CCMA WQI is based on the index developed by the British Columbia Ministry of Environment, Lands and Parks and incorporates modifications developed by the province of Alberta. Manual calculation of CCMA WQI is possible but is not feasible. The major advantage of this WQI is that its online calculation is available through an automated application which makes it highly smooth. This makes it easy to calculate. Whereas the major disadvantage includes the fact that professional judgment is required for selecting most relevant parameters, deciding number of parameters, frequency of sample collections, period of time and pertinent guidelines for depicting appropriate water quality status and yielding meaningful result from the application. Let's look at the steps involved in determining CCMA WQI. The CCMA WQI is based on a combination of three factors, scope, frequency and amplitude. First, we need to calculate these three factors, which are discussed in the following slides. These three factors are then combined to produce a single value between 0 and 100 that represents the condition of the water quality. 100 representing best water quality and 0 representing worst quality. This summation is done by vector addition. The adjacent graph represents the summation of the three vector quantities namely scope, frequency and amplitude shown by a green arrow. In the third step, based on the number attained between 0 and 100, water quality is categorized based on five descriptive categories to represent it in an understandable way. Let's understand the factor scope with the help of an example. 
In the adjacent table, you can see that four parameters are considered pH, DO, BOD, and coliform count. Following a relevant guideline, the limit or non compliance criteria is defined for each parameter in the table. In order to comply the guideline, the measured value of pH should be between 6.5 and 8.5. The value of DO should not fall below 5 mg per litre. The value of BOD should not exceed 3 mg per litre. And coliform count should not exceed 500 MPN per 100 ml. Scope represents the number of parameters or variables not meeting prescribed guidelines and is calculated by the formula F1 is equal to number of failed variables or parameters divided by total number of variables into 100. Here failed variables mean those parameters which has at least one measured value that does not meet the limit prescribed by the standard. In the table you can see the measured value of pH for all the months are within the limits whereas not all the values of DO are within specified limits. Similarly not all the values of BOD and coliform count are within prescribed limits. So 3 out of a total of 4 parameters or variables fail to meet water quality standard for those variables. Therefore, here scope is equal to 3 divided by 4 into 100 is equal to 75. By multiplying 3 fourths by 100, we are converting the fraction into percentage. When all the parameters pH, DO, BOD, coliform count fail to meet the standard, at least once, then total number of variables is equal to number of failed variables and scope becomes 100. Now, if no parameter has any value that failed to meet the standard, then number of failed variables is equal to 0 and scope becomes 0. Therefore, scope varies between 0 and 100. The next factor, frequency, represents the number of times these objectives, that is standards, are not met. In the table, check out the values marked in red. These values does not meet the prescribed guidelines. As you can see, there are a total of 16 measured values of 4 parameters for 4 months. Out of them, all values of pH meet the standard whereas one value of DO, one value of BOD and three values of coliform count does not meet the standard. So, 5 out of 16 values do not meet the standard and are termed as the failed tests. Therefore, frequency can be calculated by the formula F2 is equal to number of failed tests divided by total number of tests into 100 which gives F2 is equal to 5 divided by 16 into 100 that is equal to 31.25. Similar to scope, frequency varies between 0 and 100. The third factor or the amplitude is the amount by which the standards that is the objectives are not met by the failed test values. It can be calculated in three steps, the first step being the calculation of the excursion. Let's see how it is done. Step 1 of amplitude calculation is the calculation of excursion or deviation of each failed test values relative to the objective. The prescribed standard limit or objective can be a maximum, in which case the failed test value will exceed the objective, or it can be a minimum, 
in which case the failed test value will be less than the objective. When the objective is a maximum, for example in case of BOD and coliform count, in such cases the formula for excursion will be bracket opening fail test value divided by objective bracket close minus 1. In case of BOD, there is only one fail test value of 4. Therefore, excursion is equal to fail test value of 4 divided by standard value of 3 minus 1 is equal to one third. Similarly, excursion of coliform count can be calculated for its three fail test values. Now, in case of DO, where the objective or the prescribed standard limit is a minimum, the formula for excursion is equal to bracket opening objective divided by fail test value bracket close minus 1. In the example table, there is only one fail test value of DO. Therefore, excursion is equal to standard value of 5 divided by fail test value of 4.5 minus 1 is equal to 1 ninth. In step 2 of calculating the amplitude, we calculate the normalized sum of excursion or NSE which is equal to summation i equal to 1 to n excursion i divided by number of tests. You can see in the left side all the values of excursion that we have calculated and the total number of tests is 16. Now putting them in the formula of NSE, we get NSE is equal to 3.59. In step 3 of amplitude calculation, NSE is scaled by an asymptotic function to obtain the value of amplitude. In simple words, we scale NSE to obtain a value that varies between 0 and 100, just like the values of scope and frequency. The formula is F3 or amplitude is equal to NSE divided by 0 0.01 NSE plus 0 0.01 wherein when we put the value of NSE to be 3.59 we will get the value of amplitude as 78.21 for this particular example. Finally we calculate CCMA WQI by the formula shown here. Square root of F1 square plus F2 square plus F3 square represents the vector addition of the three factors scope, frequency, and amplitude, each of which are vector quantities having both magnitude and direction. Since each of the three factors F1, F2 and F3 varies between 0 and 100, so to prevent the maximum limit of the component root over F1 square plus F2 square plus F3 square from exceeding 100 we divide the component by root 3 or 1.732. When the water quality is good and less number of test values deviate from the prescribed standard, the value of scope, frequency and amplitude are low, which will make the value of this entire component less. Therefore, 100 minus this component will yield a higher value between 0 and 100, signifying better water quality. From this example, after putting the value of scope as 75, frequency as 31.25 and amplitude as 78.21, we get the final CCMEWQI value as 
34.89. Now we need to refer to the categorization table to know the status of the water quality, which is the last and final step. Here you can see the categorization table having five categories, which provides ranges of WQI values representing excellent, good, fair, marginal and poor water qualities. In case of our example, the CCME WQI is 34.89, which means the water source has poor water quality, which is almost always threatened or impaired and the conditions usually depart from the desirable levels. Hope this video is useful to you. Do write to us if you have any doubt or query. For more such informative content, support and subscribe, like and share. Stay safe and healthy.